want to build a CubeSat mission built by the whole community, allowing all kind of institutions like universities, research institutes, or even agencies if they want to, and companies, uh, to join this, uh, this effort and try to, to build a, a common mission in which everyone can follow since day one, so it is uh, much easier to follow the whole development and feel you are, you are part of this. So just to finalize, uh, I, I will send an email to the people that attended the work group, but 100% sure we will create either a Riot uh, channel to follow these discussions or uh, uh, a space in the Libre Space Forum, so it will be decided, but there will be for sure something announced in the Riot channel of the Open Source uh, CubeSat Workshop 2018. So, thank you. Um, so, yeah, we were discussing some applications and we have some ideas. For instance, Tanush from India, uh, they have an hyperspectral camera and they are saying they, they have a problem with, uh, with the storing the data and downloading the data. So what we can do with the, with the AI on board, we can analyze the image. And if, for instance, there are clouds, we just don't download the data. And he is also thinking about uh, compressing the data with AI, something that we can to reduce the bandwidth. So that's one of the applications. We have also thought about uh, attitude control in known environments. So for instance, what happened with Rosetta and Philae, uh, where you don't know the body where you are about to land, uh, something like AI would be useful. Uh, also, uh, we have fault detection. Uh, we are thinking uh, of um, taking the data that we have thanks to SACNOX and analyze the data, and then with that information, we can predict, uh, create an algorithm that predicts uh, failures on future satellites, or even, uh, well, detect problems in, in the current satellites. Um, well, yeah, and there are other applications. Uh, we will be also sharing all this information through mail. Uh, we'll write down something, some report or something, and I will share it with uh, whoever is interested on. Um, yeah, so if you would like to uh, get on touch, uh, just send me an email or write something on Riot and I will include you in the email. That's it. Thanks. Okay, so talking about Python, uh, we discussed lots of things. I will do a brief summary of the top of my head. Uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good is that the ecosystem is quite rich. There are libraries for many, many things, which makes it a good language for full stack data science, for instance, and stuff like that. Uh, there's also a variety of learning materials, uh, environments, etc. So that's the, the good. The bad is that uh, there are some um, weak points regarding uh, signal processing, for instance. There are many people coming from MATLAB that are missing like a Simulink alternative or stuff like that. Um, what else? The transition from Python 2 or Python 3 seems to be not a problem because most of the people that we were talking about were using already Python 3 without further problems. Um, what else? And the ugly is that uh, sometimes deployment and packaging is difficult and it's understandable because there's lots of outdated documentation out there and some misleading materials. So sometimes like getting people to use PIP or Conda or stuff like that sometimes is a bit painful or more painful than it should be really. Uh, so that's something that the community should improve on and Anyway, we will share the full notes online, so we have plenty of links and reading material for everybody. So, thank you very much for everybody to partic participating. So, thank you all for joining the, our workshop. Uh, 
it was uh, very nice to see that uh, there is uh, much interest in, the, uh, in Sapnox and uh, using the, our data for, for different reasons. Uh, uh, that was amazing. Uh, but uh, we have uh, work to do. Uh, for sure, we have some uh, issues with the installation. It's quite complicated right now. We have ba we have uh, pay attention too much to the Raspberry Pi, and uh, it's very difficult to install it on in a normal PC. So we are going to fix it. Uh, we are planning to make some uh, distribution uh, binary packages for this, uh, and uh, we have to improve uh, the documentation because uh, right now it's a more a computer-oriented uh, documentation. So uh, the visitor cannot uh, follow up uh, what is Atmux is. Uh, what is purpose? So yeah, uh, this is uh, our, our priority right now to improve the do documentation, uh, how you can extract data, and uh, how you can use uh, Satnox to do your your job or your research. Thank you. So we talked about metadata for like two days and many hours now, and your community is complicated and metadata is hard, so thank you for your patience if you took some time to talk to me. Um, I think a lot of what I'm probably going to take away from this is more the capacity to kind of think more comprehensively about the different communities that you all represent and the needs that you all have and kind of even the capacity to ask the right questions. I do think that there are a lot of opportunities to introduce uh, different tools and platforms, but still in the phase, I think, where I'm kind of just flushing out my ideas, and I'm looking forward to kind of following up with a lot more of you with hopefully more informed questions and maybe something to have you test out for me. So thank you. Um, I was also chairing, uh, moderating a work group, and uh, it's great because we we had a, a full agreement on not to agree on anything. Um, <laughs> so we were talking about the um, uh, the PZ104 board that's used on CubeSats, and in particular on the connector. And what everyone is uh, calling for is to use a new connector, more modern for high-speed data rates and so on. Uh, but nobody is really sure, uh, well, there's no consensus on how that should really look like, and that deserves an own work group on itself. But what we, or some of us would like to continue is to look into what we have and uh, uh, find a consensus there and standardize uh, that one. And we collected some ideas on um, what buses we are looking into. Uh, for example, SPI and UART buses as the system bus. Um, and also what power levels we want to see. Um, so this is an uh, ongoing uh, development and uh, I look forward to continue working uh, on this uh, with the members of this work group and also other people are invited. Thank you. <laughs> so with this, uh, we have 15 minutes left, then uh, the buses will go to the airport. One goes to the airport, the other one goes to the center, so make sure you catch the, the right one. Um, and I would like to really thank very much uh, the local organization committee with Fernando, Marcos, Julio, Jorge, and maybe you come on the stage. Wanna come on stage? Come, red one also. Because, uh, Also, uh, Jorge, who is not uh, here today, and uh, Coral, who is giving you the badges and doing all this administration thing, and Eli, who is doing the video recording up there. So, um, maybe, do you want to say something, a few words? You did really a tremendous job, and I would like to mention also that they also organized all the funding, so for the shuttle bus, for this venue, for the coffee breaks. Uh, we did not even need an external sponsor for this event. So, that's really... Wow. Yeah. Okay, simply to say that um, it has been a pleasure for us to, to host uh, this event uh, this year here. So 
and we have, at least personally, uh, talking on my, on my own is, it has been quite surprise, uh, surprising all the work that you are doing. It's very, very nice work. And I, I encourage you to continue with this good spirit uh, working in, this, in these projects. So, congratulations to you so, for your work. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you li please stay on the stage, grab a seat, make yourself comfortable. Um, now we go a bit uh, just through the, as a retrospective of how this uh, workshop went. And I told you that uh, it's really open source how we run this workshop. So uh, it's, op it's even open to the public. We can just go there. Um, and where's this? So we have a couple of items. Um, here, the wrap up. Okay. So um, the thing is that. There will be a survey afterwards um, on uh, to, to gather your feedback on how to maybe improve this workshop even more, make it more interactive. Um, maybe you, you think two days is not enough. Maybe you want uh, two weeks. Or <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other question is, should we do it like now on the beginning of the week or towards the end of the week? Maybe the weekend is even preferred. Um, these kind of questions. The number of people, should we get more people? Or, I mean, should we uh, find venues to host more people, make it even, uh, we were talking about making it completely open so that, you know, we just grab people from the street and ask their opinion about CubeSats and uh, <laughs> open space exploration. Um, maybe if, if you already have something on your mind, then please, uh, yeah, share it. Yeah, you can, can you can use this. the box here. But just uh, for the logistics, uh, we had a video recording of all the talks, and we have all the presentations. So this will all One, be made two. available online. Um, and the presentations will be put on the website. Uh, but there's something else that you took, namely pictures, that we would like to have to share in a central place um, uh, to distribute it, and everyone can have a look. So. Maybe there's an idea on how we can do that. Email. It will crash my inbox. <laughs> we'll Maybe send the link and uh, we'll put the information on the website. Okay. Like the presentations will appear on the website. Awesome. Awesome. So on the Libre Space Cloud. Okay, this and to do it. Okay, so there's already uh, opportunity so we can uh, have a central server for uh, collecting those pictures, the images, and I think this year we have uh, some better quality pictures than, than last year. Uh, last year we were also really drunk and tired, so that <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, social event. How was this? Any? Uh, last year we were shooting at each other with lasers. <laughs> um, this year we were just trying to hide in a secret place. Mercado Anton Martin, like Aston Martin. Some but found Anton it. Mart <laughs> some found it. Some not. Was a Hayden, I love Hayden. the food. I mean, so it's guacamole and cheese. I never do that mix, but it's cool. Good. Nachos. Okay. Um, yeah, poster session and demos. Um, what do you think? Was it enough time? Were there too many talks, maybe? Were too few talks? More work groups? You can shoot it out, just shoot out what you want to say. Honest opinions. Yeah. Massin. Dominic. Just go oh. up. Too few talks. Okay. More talks. More time for pictures. Over there. 
pictures, more pictures. Lady talks, more lady talks. Workshops. Workshop. Hands on. Build something. Hands on. Hands on. Hands on. Okay. Over there. I guess it's in Hampshire, um, and it's trying to remember the area. But this says something about the type of talk. So this is contentious, um, and it's been mentioned earlier. But is there something about the type of talks? Is there a threshold about? Um, is it okay? I mean, I have enjoyed all the talks. They've all been fascinating. But is it okay to come and uh, represent a company that's just used some open source tools? Is, is that threshold okay um, to, for an open source CubeSat workshop? I think in the committee we have different opinions and I'm open to everything. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm not saying I'm right yeah. or wrong. I think it needs to be expanded to sort of a, like a small SAT conference because in general, uh, although a lot of people were doing CubeSat, it was just general uh, aerospatial open source projects. And, and awesome. uh, it, like it was still amazing, but I think it should be expanded not only to CubeSat projects. I propose add uh, some presentation competition uh, because this is very simple tool to measure what is inter most interesting on the, uh, on the workshop. So I propose having optional tutorial days before or after the workshop where one can sign up for the tutorial and learn GNU radio, for example. Um, I think that would help a lot of developers and uh, I, from what I heard here, I'm sure people would like to teach you Astro Python, all of these things that have their own partisan camps that you could learn. Yeah, also all the letters, what do they stand for, please? <laughs> Put your hand. <laughs> Say again, please. Um, yeah, that, that sometimes feels like um, everyone thinks that we know what the, the letters mean. I mean, the, the, what do they stand for, right? The abbreviations. Yeah, all the abbreviations, right? Sometimes maybe I'm more of a aerospace engineer and a software engineer is going to use abbreviations, which I don't know what they are. And so I have to ask around, like, what, what does that mean? Or what is that, right? So yeah, I agree on the tutorials part. <laughs> I suggest similar, similarly to the tutorials idea, which I agree a lot, I think it would be great to have a sprints day as well to engage with open source projects like hands-on. So doing a sprint on AstroPy or a sprint on some Libre Space Foundation stuff, this kind of thing, after maybe after you already know the projects and et cetera, uh, having some time to actually put some work there. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, I'm returning that uh, to the opinion of uh, Joe about mm. open source and uh, what the goal of this uh, workshop is. Uh, so, yeah, there, we we listened to many talks that uh, were not uh, open source, all right. All, all right. But uh, at least I will expect I, I will expect from those people to tell us why they cannot uh, release as open source. W w which are the objections or which are the problems in order our community, the open source community, to help them uh, release the, this software as open. Okay. All right. One more question, uh, because the bus is coming. Where do we have it next year? Should be close to a beach, sunny. Yeah. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> Any proposals? <laughs> Some are thinking about the time lag. Over there, shoot it out. Canary Islands. <laughs> Awesome. Come and see Arthur in the end. Perfect. Okay. 
So the bus, yes. the bus is coming. In, oh, he's going we, to see Greece, but yes, just wait yes, a minute. We had also having a place, yeah. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> also, so. Right. Yeah. Okay, we gather all that. <laughs> we have to go. <laughs> so this has been a pleasure. Uh, this has really. A, a great pleasure. I mean, we're doing that for you. We're not doing that. This is not our job, uh, but we love that, and I think that's where we all here, <laughs> right? And uh, when I mean this is not our job, it's not what we paid for, but this is our life job. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So all of you have to go to the airport. We we have to go out. And, uh, and uh, stay tuned, stay on the Riot channel. It's uh, very cool to have you there because we can exchange information very quickly. Arthur, anything stay to open. Stay open. And catch the bus. <laughs> yeah. See you next year. See you next year.